Hey uh, everybody, welcome to my basement. Uh, you can see this is uh, my well room back here. I got my water softener and uh, got my uh, water storage container and everything. And the reason I'm making this video is because I um, subscribe to Big Clive. He is um, a uh, guy uh, out of uh, I Love Man and he um, does some really cool videos, electronics and stuff like that. And this video is a response to one of his that he did talking about generators. And in that video, he was showing a Chinese made um, automatic transfer switch. And he talked about how in the United States here, um, people sometimes set up their transfer their, their generators outdoors to backfeed through the uh, dryer outlet, which is true, some people do, but I wanted to show you guys my setup that I made. It's made for a portable generator. It's made for up to 50 amps, and um, it's as cheap as you can get away with while still being completely legal. So let's go to the, uh, to the panel. Okay, so this is my electrical panel. Um, I have a sheet that shows all of the uh, the circuit breakers. So when we moved into this house, this house was built in uh, 89. It had a 100 amp service right here. And then it had a daughter panel on the side, which was improperly wired. They had uh, three gauge or uh, no, 10 gauge wire going from the main panel to the daughter panel and the daughter panel was being fed by a 100 amp fuse. So this is completely disastrous and it could have caught fire anytime. So when we moved in here, we basically got everything replaced and uh, we also added uh, a new uh, daughter panel. If you can see this big conduit, it basically skews the mess here, but it basically goes down this back wall. Can't even, can't really see it, but way back there. And it's basically where the uh, air conditioner is ran into. And this is a, um, it's fed here. I'll show you by this circuit breaker right here. It's a 90 amp circuit breaker. And this is uh, up to code. It's got the uh, correct size wiring and everything. But what I really wanted to show you, like I said in the video before, is this interlock. So Big Clive, you know, Clive was talking about how people can backfeed and everything. Well, well, my setup is this 50 amp circuit breaker is the um, generator and then it's got an interlock. So right now it's in the off position and this is the main um, house breaker, the 200 amp breaker. So if I wanted to turn this breaker on, which goes down these, this conduit, um, and then it goes through a watt meter, which I installed. And this is a uh, this is a nice watt meter. It's a Reliance MB125. It doesn't actually break into the circuitry. It uses inductance to measure. So that way you can um, do both the uh, 125 uh, legs and make sure you're not overdriving one leg versus the other. And then you can see it goes up the conduit and outside, and we'll show you outside in a little bit. But anyway, uh, back to this. You cannot flick this circuit breaker on until you push this piece of metal out of the way. And you can't push the piece of metal out of the way until you turn this uh, the main breaker off. And in that situation, it's uh, once you once you're able to do that, everything runs great, and then you can't turn on the main breaker because when this flicks over, it, this panel gets pushed up, and it sits on this little ledge here on the uh, circuit breaker, and basically oh, I might not have been in shot on that one, sorry. So um, when this gets pushed up to turn this breaker on, this little metal piece here sits on the edge of the breaker right there and it blocks the main breaker from being able to turn back on it'll hit the side here so this is basically the correct way to set up a back feed quote unquote into your main panel this little piece is made by the same company that makes my breaker box it's a square d home line and i paid 50 bucks for a piece of metal 
and three little screws. And there's another piece of metal behind the main panel here that says, do not you know, feed power into this. It's feeding a generator, it's just got a little piece. And um, the main reason you're paying that money is not because there's anything special about the piece of metal. It's because it's UL listed and you know, I have a little generator interlock kit sticker here for um, for every you know for anybody that uh, is working on the system here, so they understand that there's a generator here. So that's the inside of the house, and uh, in the next uh, we'll go outside next. Uh, before we do that, just want to show you quick that I also wired in another conduit. You can see it goes here, goes up, and then goes up out. This is a goes into my garage for uh, a service and that's down here for a 50 amp service for the garage 240 volts so that way you know, if I want to run a welder or something like that in the future I can so uh, let's go outside and check out that that section of it hey so uh, here we are outside my house it's uh, late at night well not that late but it's dark it's <laughs> five o'clock so here in the Midwest it gets dark so uh, this is the outside portion of the generator so what I have out here is some conduit comes out of the house and in the conduit we have the same um, six gauge copper wire and then I have a box that uh, encloses everything's waterproof and then if you lift up can see that inside we have an outlet it's a uh, four prong so we have the ground up here neutral left leg and right leg on the other side and then this is what I used to plug the generator into I made a special cable and then this thing closes I had to do some modifications here on the side on the on the bottom here Let's see if I can uh, get a better shot of that for you I think you can see it right there um, to let the cable once it's plugged in to go down so then I can close the cover uh, what else that's pretty much it out here um, it's plastic conduit it's mounted on the side as you can see on the siding this is a metal housing in the back with a gasket right here you can see the black gasket so yeah this is outside all right so uh, we just came in from the outside I showed you guys the inside panel showed you guys the uh, outside panel just doing a quick response to uh, show the people who watch Big Clive's video on how to properly set up a uh, generator if you got any questions let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you next video.